Butte, Montana, <laughs> my hometown. And the Lord asked some angels to paint him a picture of a town where they lived one below. Each angel was adding bright colors only found in the summer rainbow. We're finished, they shouted together, and dear Lord, we hope it will suit. When the Lord asked him, well, what do you call it? He smiled when they said, we'd call it Butte. It was the only of you who can able the richest hill on earth. Now that most of the copper's gone, only the Lord really knows what it's worth. Because they no longer use those mine shafts to dig tunnels far below. They just moved another mountainside and dug another hole. And the lady of the Rockies, she watches over as we sleep. The pit still fills with water, it's dirty, cold, and deep. And there's a bar on every corner and our drinks are still half full. But now it costs two quarters just to play one game of pool. And if you ever need a friend, on this you can depend. You don't have to look too far, because on every corner we built a bar. And don't ever, that means ever let me hear you put Butte down. It's not just where I've lived. Butte is my hometown. And it's where legends have been born and hell has been raised. And it's only bragging if you can do it. Twice. When I was in prison, I started writing poems. I'd write poems to my wife. I'd send them home. And we'd have people in prison that would ask me to you know, give them copies of my poems so they could write them in their own handwriting and then send them to their wives so they think they wrote them. So it's just been a gift, a way of me expressing, you know, my feelings and my true feelings in a way that people can kind of, you know, appreciate it, understand it, and then stick it on their wall and remember it. You know, Jesus said that you will know a tree by its fruit, you know, a good tree producing good fruit. He said, well, tell them that. They will know a tree by your poetry. I've got a sixth grade education and really the, the, the way things rhyme and, and make sense is just because Father put it together that way. I didn't believe in God, heaven, or hell until one day I just decided I was going to meet one or the other. Yeah. All right, folks. I love you too, dog. But I'll show them where to sleep. There's little cubby holes for them to sleep. We always had, we always had a lot of blankets. Blankets and sleeping bags. This little cubby hole right here is a uh, put down cardboard boxes and sleep in here. You know, being being a poet and being a um, you know a man of God, just being able to go out there and relate to people and and sit and talk with people without them feeling like you know they're they're, they're not good enough or I'm too good. I just live with them and I live like them. And there are people that are hungry and that need to hear something that I might say when it needs to be said. So in that saying, that's why I'm always there. I'm not just going to be there on Sunday. Show up on church day. We show up every day and just invite them. You know, to come with us.